Here's how your ex got all the power in the relationship and how you lost all the power, ultimately leading to your breakup. At the end of the day, it all boils down to confidence. If you think that you can go out into the dating world and get somebody equally as cool, equally as beautiful, equally as amazing as this person that you dated, you're never going to tolerate bad behavior and you're never going to pedestalize that person that you're with. But when you don't think that you can go back out there and get somebody equally as good or better, what happens is that you don't establish boundaries in your relationship. And this is where the slow decline starts to happen because every little time they disrespect you or every little time that you let something happen that really bothers you but you don't speak up about it, your partner notices and they start to understand that they can get away with anything. And ultimately, this leads to a lack of respect. And so it's gonna manifest in little ways. For example, they might talk over you. When you're talking, they might switch the subject off of whatever it is that you were saying without building upon the things that you were talking about. And eventually, without having established any boundaries, like saying, hey, you know what? I don't like it when you interrupt me. I don't like it when you don't pay attention to things I say. Eventually, this plays into this slow loss of attraction over time where you're just getting lower and lower in your partner's eyes. So going back to the roots of the problem, you need to think about how can you produce this confidence in yourself to where you won't tolerate bad behavior or you'll call it out and give that person a chance to fix it when it comes up. If you're single, going out into the dating world and facing rejection and taking massive action, going on a lot of dates and being willing to get stood up, being willing to get flaked on and ghosted and all these things, right? Like going through the gauntlet, you know, you come out the other end of it an experienced person in the dating world. You really show yourself what you can get. But if you're still hooked on this person that's hurt you or that's let you go, you can't necessarily go out and get the experience in the dating world because you're still attached to them, right? And in that case, what you ought to do is maybe consider dating other people just, you know, so that way you'll give them a little bit of motivation to come back into the mix, okay? But if not that, you've got to pour yourself into some kind of hobby, some kind of career, some kind of social life, so all the things that are laid out in front of you, all the good things in your life. You need to pour yourself into those and gain a confidence from that to where you'll start respecting yourself to the point where you'll actually set the boundaries that you require in a relationship. And if you have a situation with your ex that you wanna to talk to me about, click on my profile, click this link, and you'll come into my store and then you can choose one of these options to get connected with me where we can talk about your situation.